hey, what's up, you gorgeous bastards? It's me. <laughs> it's easy update. Welcome to the... My shirt's inside out. <laughs> or backwards. My shirt's backwards. Uh, hey, so... I'm back again with some more lazy content. That's a comment I get sometimes. It really hurts my feelings. Uh... <laughs> But this in this this week it is kind of true. This is a easier, shorter, quick little episode because we're just super busy with uh, new shows, or new seasons of shows, stuff coming up, next gen content reviews, all that kind of stuff. So um, I find myself with a little less time this week than I'd like to to have for a, a, an episode of Easy Update. But that got me thinking. Uh, also, total honesty, I'm spending almost all my free time playing. Uh, Demon Souls. <laughs> and uh, Native Instruments had a sale, and so I just bought Contact 6. So I've got all these samples I need to play with. Ugh. Nils Fram, they sampled his piano, and I haven't even played it yet, but I bought it, and I'm very excited. But it got me thinking that uh, times are very stressful. Obviously, 2020 is like some kind of slow motion panic attack. Uh, and uh, so. What about nice, cute, little chill games? In some cases, incredibly chill games. Uh, so here's a little list. If you find yourself needing just to, like, take something easy, play it play it easy, play it nice. Uh, so, um, most of these maybe you've heard of. Some of them maybe you haven't. I hadn't known about a couple of, one or two of these until very recently. Um, but anyway, the first one, Carto. I played the first world... Uh, I think I was about to go to a new biome, uh, and it was very cute and very dear. Um, and it, uh, I don't want to spoil much. They said not to talk about anything past the part I reached when I was playing it. Um, but it's just such a cute game with a cute little story and little characters, and I really liked it. Carto, I was playing it on the Switch. Carto, PlayStation, Switch, Xbox One. Microsoft Windows, Macintosh, Carto. It's cute. It's a cute game. The one I just discovered the other day is called Ord. Ord. O-R-D, period. It's on... I got it on Switch, and then I was like, I wonder if this is on the phone, and it is. And it's $2 on the phone, and it was on sale for $4 on the Switch. And it's, uh, as you can see here from the trailer, it's a three-words-at-a-time text adventure game and you can run through them pretty quickly. Uh, I figure this game is ideal, especially if you have the phone one. It's ideal for just, like, you have a few minutes to kill, and you want to do a little adventure. And it's pretty cute, and I liked it. Uh, similar to that, phone games that just eat up my time. Uh, Flip-Flop Solitaire, like the Zack Gage games on the phone, basically. Like, Flip-Flop Solitaire, really bad chess, Sage Solitaire. I think he's got a Sudoku one, but I have an Android, so I can't play that one yet. Because uh, it's on iPhone. Uh, but Flip Flop Solitaire I play a lot of, and Really Bad Chess is really fun. Uh, also, shout out to my friend Asher, who made Threes. That game is on phone, phones, and it's very fantastic. Townscaper is barely a game, uh, but it's also like super awesome. I did an episode on that a while back, so I won't really talk about that one, but that one's really cute if you want to make like a little town. Speaking of interesting takes on interaction, there's a game by the guy who made the game Everything. He made a game in 2014 called Mountain that is, it, it basically just sits there and yeah, but I kind of love it. Mountain. Um, obviously Animal Crossing, <laughs> like, the chillest game this our like lord and savior of of our sanity of this year animal crossing it's great stuff can't beat race the sun i mean you literally can't beat it because it's endless but if you've got the right kind of mindset it can be really chill but they added that chill like just kind of cruise mode which is very i think it was called sunset mode sunrise mode yeah there, there's a sunrise mode in race the sun now that's just real chill and you can kind of just like go for it um really cool and then of course proteus there's a new game called proteus with a d 
which looks cool, but not very chill. Uh, it's like a shooty action game. Proteus, very relaxing game. Uh, if you have the mindset of not... If, if not knowing where to go and what to do stresses you out, then maybe don't play Proteus. But if you're very okay with the idea of just kind of looking around until something happens, Proteus. And also, like, you know, mist, whatever. Anyway, that's a list of, like, whatever. Some really fun, chill, chill games. Chill, lazy little games for easing your mind while you're going to the bathroom or laying in bed while something's on TV or whatever. I don't know your life. 